what's going on so i diagnosed i got a i got a bad injector uh my motor was running funny had a vibration i didn't know what it was um mechanic told me it could possibly be an injector so uh, i started unplugging my injectors one at a time and i'm gonna show you a video earlier i, I was doing that and the way you do it on the m14 there's these little plugs and all you do is uh you uh, unplug them while your engine's running and if there's no change that means you got an issue in that injector so i did that and i'm gonna show you all again but uh yeah so i got one that's that's you know it's not it's not firing so i either got a bad injector and I, i'm about to order an injector but i found a really good um youtube video that shows you how to test to uh make sure that it's the you know when you unplug it to find out if it's the, it's on the injector side or if it's on the computer and the wiring harness side and the way you test it is this little kit from o'reilly's and uh, they have these uh things called noid lights right so you get one of these and uh, you get this one right here this gm sp scp1 and when you unplug the injector you plug this in and and when you fire when you fire it up when the engine running you and you unplug the injector and you plug this in it should start strobing and if it's strobing then you know the problems on the on the other side everything's good if this doesn't light up then that means it's on something on the computer side it could be either, either be your ecm or it could be the wiring's going to it you know so that's the test i'm about to do right now so Anyways, I'm about to plug it up and uh, try it out. And I'll, I'm going to start the truck up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so the engine's running. I can see when I unplug the projector. Okay, so there's no change. so that was pretty cool so uh you know so i know now i feel comfortable ordering an injector and uh i'm gonna get a mechanic to switch it out i mean uh i'm gonna take it to another shop but at least you know that that took that took all of five minutes you know what i mean that's why it's good to research some shit because five minutes and this is free at o'reilly's you just have to pay i had to pay 25 dollars but it's it's a free rental but you give you the money back when you uh go back you know but at least you know no matter what you know if you can change it yourself you inject it yourself i ain't gonna mess with it. i'm just gonna take it to the shop right but uh at least at the same time you know you know what the fuck's going on you know what i'm saying so you you know something like that's gonna help you uh not get fucked by the mechanic like he's gonna know like this dude knows what the fuck he's talking about you know what i mean like you could tell him hey you know i disconnected my injector it didn't it didn't change i went and put a noid light on it the noid light's flat strobing so you know it's good it's it's 
it's either the uh wiring harness on the other side of the inside the head you know one maybe one of the wires got messed up or something or or it's you know or you could check the, the like the video said check that uh the you know the injector you know with your meter the ohms make sure that all that's right but anyways uh actually i'm gonna see if i can't find a a, a shop manual to see if i can you know if i can find the cummins i might even i might even try to change the injector myself you know what i mean because uh, worst case scenario right here where i'm at the shop where i'm at where i keep my where i keep my truck at you know uh they got uh i got a mobile mechanic always comes over here working and shit so he already told me what it costs yeah he told me 300 bucks to switch out my injector but like i said i like to i'm i don't really like to try to do it on my own but you know what i mean but i ain't i ain't tripping on paying 300 bucks but man i'm trying to start being real hands-on with all my shit but anyways y'all be cool man